When my aunt died, I got a plate. It was the kind of plate with a color photo printed on it and a poisonous ink that you couldn't eat or else you'd die too. The original, which was made in a fine porcelain, was made back when my aunt and uncle got married. Back in the days when black and white meant photos and color meant paint. When she died, extras were ordered from Thrifty's photo department. Ten ninety nine for saucer, twenty nine ninety nine for dinner. I was given a saucer and I was told it was because I was smaller and more petite than everyone else, not because it was cheaper. It came in a small box wrapped in a dark olive paper. No silver curly cues, no bows, and plastic flowers, just plain with a piece of tape on either end. And inside that box was a single saucer minus the cup and a redwood display stand. And on that saucer was an image of my aunt two years before she died with a smile so wide her eyes disappeared and a hairline flips almost erased into her skin. And she was just like St. Lucy. St. Lucy of Syracuse, eyeless, sightless, and carrying her baby blues on a platter. Two ripe round grapes like I put on a dish on Halloween when I was nine and I'd make my ten-year-old boyfriend put his fingers in into it. And I tell him, they're my dogs, can't you tell? I pulled them out today just for you. And right there on the spot, he confesses undying love to me. She was power incarnate, and I imagined that she could see into whatever room that she left her eyes. And I looked up to my plate just as Lucy did hers. I thought I understood all the powers that it held. I remember I was punished for not doing something I was told to. I would gently take that plate off of its redwood display stand and lick that puppy till her smile was erased.